IGCSE Biology Syllabus Statement 39B here we're discussing the female reproductive system structure and function. So here we have the image of the female reproductive system and here's our table. It's worth mentioning at this point that before a pregnancy occurs the over uh, the uterus structure as seen here is no larger than a, a, perhaps an orange. Don't confuse this with the large size of the pregnant uh, woman's uterus. Okay, so the parts. Part uh, A, seen here and here, is the ovary, and this is where we have meiosis occurring and the production of eggs, the female gamete. These are carried down these tubes here, which are called the oviducts. So the oviducts carry the eggs to the uterus. But this is actually also the location of where fertilization might take place. So that would be anywhere in this zone here and equally over here. So fertilization, sperm cells meeting egg cells, occurs in the oviduct, not in the uterus space. The uterus is this structure in the center here, and I've got it labeled in three or four parts. Part C is the uterus wall, which is the wall of the uterus. It's made of muscle. And this is the part which will stretch to accommodate pregnancy and would contract during birth. The lining of the uterus here is labeled G. So, the G, so this is C and that was B just to be complete. So here this is called G and the lining of the uterus uh, accepts and develops the fertilized egg and the egg would, the fertilized egg would develop here into the embryo and the child and we would see the development here of the placenta. So the embryo implants into the wall of the uterus there. Now sperm cells enter the uterus through the cervix which is here E. This is the entrance to the uterus known as the cervix and it's in this space here that sperm cells will make their way up to the oviducts like so but also we have in the opposite direction the first fertilized egg coming down here and down here to implant so the uterus space is where the sperm cells move the egg cells move but it's actually perhaps better known as the place where the embryo develops into the unborn child. This is where a baby develops and it would stretch to accommodate that. And finally F is the vagina which is where the penis is introduced here and sperm cells are introduced to the top of the vagina here. They would then make their way through the cervix. So the vagina collects the sperm cells and allows them to pass through into through the cervix into the uterus. Three point nine B, the female reproductive system.